The fight on both sides of the aisle is building over defense cuts due to kick in January 2nd. And meanwhile, the clock is ticking. Congress has 11 more days to broker a deal halting the cuts. And workers, by law, are supposed to get 60 days notice if they're about to lose their job. But today, the Labor Department says companies don't need to notify their employees. Interesting, since a 60-day notice would fall right on November 1st, which, of course, is just before the election. I think it's fair to say that everyone is getting sick and tired of the bickering on Capitol Hill. It seems like nothing's getting done. So it's no surprise that this speech got a standing ovation. Listen. The jobs we are talking about are not red jobs or blue jobs. They are red, white, and blue jobs. They are not Democrat jobs or Republican jobs or independent jobs or libertarian jobs. They are American jobs. If you want this country to thrive and not just survive, then please start playing the game by the rules and stop this ridiculous mockery of what it is that we do here in this town. Representative Mike Kelly is a small business owner himself, and he joins me now. I think you captured how a lot of people are feeling, especially when we are looking at this situation. You know, you hear today they're supposed to send out these notices telling people that they're going to lose their job. They're not going to do it. It all seems like political infighting, and, like, and no one really cares about the end result. Well, and Melissa, thanks for having me on. But this is about three things. This is about jobs, this is about certainty, and this is about certain victory for our men and women in uniform. We talk about jobs, first of all. It doesn't matter if you are a big defense company, small defense company. A friend of mine, Tom Buckner, built this from the ground up, okay, from an open field. He built a company. He, he and his brother John, Ivan Butler, they had 656 people working for them a year ago. They're down to 296. So don't tell me it's not about jobs. Absolutely, it's about jobs. It's about certainty. We've got to give job creators some certainty, whether it's with their tax policy, whether it's the sequestration. Are, are we really going to cut another half a trillion dollars after we already cut it for half a trillion? We've already tightened our belt. We've got to be careful. And the last one, that's certain victory. If we ever send our sons and daughters in uniform into battle and it's a fair fight, shame on us. Shame on us to ever do that to them. The other thing is, you know, if I'm an ally of the United States, I want a strong United States. I want a United States that I can count on. And if I'm one of these people that wishes harm, I want to strike fear in their hearts that they don't even bother coming on the field to even test the United States. I, I so think there's of, things we can do. A lot of people in the audience agree with what you're saying, and what they see in Washington is a lot of bickering. And whether you want things to prevail one way or the other, you would like to see certainty, and you would like to see people working hard to come to a solution. And as Americans, we feel like that's not happening in Washington. Is that the correct perspective? Well, you know, you have two different views here. You have one party that thinks that a bigger government that takes more of your money and regulates you more is the way to go and tells you how to live your life. You have another party that says, no, 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 let's make it smaller, let's take less money, let's regulate them less, and let's let them move ahead. But at the end of the day, we've got to come together as 435 strong. Listen, this House of Representatives has towed a lot of water this year. We passed a lot of job-creating bills and passed them on to the Senate. Now, keep this number in mind, 23. Are you telling me that 23 senators' re-election is more important than the 23 million Americans who are either out of work, underemployed, or have just simply given up looking for work? That's not right. This is America. With everything that the Creator has given us, for us to be in this position right now is a, it's an absolute sin. It now, is, it is but we are here. We are here in this position, and from the outside, it looks like it's total gridlock. Is that what's going on there? I, you know what? I don't think, uh, from, from the pe people that I'm with every day, I see it as more worry about re-election than it is about getting this country back on its feet. And I got to tell you right now, if you came here with the idea this is a long job and you have to maintain it and keep doing it forever and ever, you came for the wrong reason. If you don't have the stomach to do what you have to do and the backbone to do it, then you should just resign and go home because this is, listen, yeah. there's no place here for weak need people. We've got to do what's right for the American people. And we so can do that if we stick that? to our pledge. How do you break you know through what? that? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. We do it by talking to people like you're talking to right now. The American public has got to understand, and they've got to get on the phone, they've got to tell the representatives, listen, stop it. Stop doing what you're doing, and okay. let's get this thing fixed. All right. That's we're where the all answer do that. comes, Melissa. It's that simple. All right, Congressman Kelly, we're going to all take to the phone tonight. Thank you for joining us. Please we appreciate do. your Please time. Do. Keep up the good Thanks, work. Thanks, Melissa. Thank all you. All right, you too. can find